Counseling Techniques, Refining Therapeutic Directions, with Gina Coe and Sandra Collins. Refining Therapeutic Directions. As part of the process of setting therapeutic directions with clients, it is often important to support them to break down their preferences for change into manageable or meaningful elements. In some cases, these may be concrete goals and sub-goals. In other cases, a more fluid process emerges as a better fit for the particular client. The purpose of this refinement is to support movement toward their preferred futures. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Gina. So the last time we met, uh, we talked about continuing the conversation about your whole self, inviting your whole self into your life. And I offered uh, homework, (laughs) which I I recall um, provide some space for yourself to write down a list of things you can do to start to take action, right, towards being your whole self. So I'm I'm wondering, did you have a chance to, to do that? I did. And I first started doing a little mind map on my computer. Um, And it was interesting because I then stopped myself and thought, this is exactly not my whole self, because that's what that's what I do in my academic world. That's my brain thinking through this. So I thought, you know, I'm trying to embrace the, the artist and the heart and, you know, all of these other parts of myself. So I actually decided to get out my markers and do it in my sketchbook instead, which felt more congruent with the task and the the goal of bringing my whole self forward. I would love that. Sandra, would you want to share it? Sure, I can do that. I'll, um, I can share my screen. Oh, I love markers. <laughs> so I had fun doing this. I put my, my centering myself in the middle. And then um, I just kind of thought about what are the kinds of things that I want to do in various parts of my life to begin to center myself differently. Okay. Uh, Would it be okay for you, Sandra, to walk me through some of what you created here? I just sort of started thinking about, okay, what are the things that would help me? And um, I'm noticing the the green create. Um, So creating space for the underdeveloped or lesser used parts of myself. Some are really well developed, like my mind, but there are lesser developed parts of myself. So I'm trying to just Kind of create more space for that and this week I started sewing projects that I wanted to get going on for ever which is kind of fun and sewing can be such a mindful activity too right uh-huh. yeah. yeah then I talked about um inviting feedback from glow my partner when I center my whole self so rather than asking her to point out when I don't but asking her to point out when I do because i think that's more reinforcing so if she notices that I'm being kind of more present in the moment or bringing my whole self forward that you know she's a person that I trust to provide feedback on that that was you know one thing that I thought might be useful and then in the in the bottom corner here I have planned to start from a different place within myself I kind of wrote this and then it felt again like I was moving too much into the list making which is why we're not doing sort of a traditional goal setting thing here because I was trying to move away from Mm -hmm. that kind of mindset to something that might actually promote my whole self so I didn't actually fill that in because then I thought okay that's that's maybe will be useful at some point, but right now it's not what I'm really wanting to focus on. Is all of this kind of making sense as I go yeah. through it? I was going to say, I wasn't, didn't want to interrupt, Sandra, what, even with the prior one, when you say invite glow, you know, to provide feedback where, where she notices, right? Moments where you are more being your whole self. I think that's that's really important. You know, sometimes we are, we are most critical of ourselves and I didn't do this and I didn't do that. But when we invite our partner in to notice, right? Another client of mine the other day um, introduced the word glimmer. You know, like uh, noticing the glimmers of our day, moments when things are going well and to sit with and celebrate those moments. So I I love that. And I I also hear you saying you want to kind of move away from your the self, your prior self where you're making lists and making mind maps. Right. So this is very telling that you decided to yeah bring out your markers and use that way of, of brainstorming. So 
Well, you don't have to explain every part, Sandra, unless you want to continue. I mean, I see it. And would you want to continue? Gina, I don't need to go through it all. I think it was just um, a good exercise for me to to kind of write these things down. And when I look at it now, I kind of have places to start. One mm -hmm. of the things I did wonder about, though, is I put a lot in there because I was kind of just like generating whatever ideas I could. Come up with. So then I've been thinking about, okay, so where do I, how do I kind of begin with that? Yes, I was thinking exactly that as NASA and where, you know, what small step could you take even in the next week, right? To take action, to begin doing, to begin, yeah, moving towards your whole self. So when I look at this sketchbook full of things, I'm thinking, okay, where is the best place for me to start that feels less list focused and task focused and more promoting that that um, wholeness and one of the things that I thought about was just increasing my time in naturally wholeness promoting activities for me that seemed like moving out of my head and moving into like actually just honoring those activities so I have been trying to carve out more time for um, some of those activities um, Glow and I used to have this habit of having a personal day a week mm -hmm. um, where we both kind of go off and do our own thing and run on our own schedule and just um, it's our space to do whatever we want for the whole day. And for me, it's space away from anything that's at all work related. So we started implementing that again. Monday was my day this week where I just um, painted and I did start the sewing that day and it felt like that was a really positive way to start crafting that and it kind of then begins to overflow one of the things that I also did this week that was to remind me of that mm -hmm. was using my art as a backdrop wow Can you see that so it's just a piece of a painting because it doesn't you know the whole thing doesn't come up on the screensaver but I used um, I thought if I'm sitting here at my computer, one way to remind myself is to, to have my art. So I have three screens. It was kind of fun for me now. I sit down at my desk and, so cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this is kind of, again, you're only seeing part of the painting, but it was fun to have it up there. So I'm sitting down at my desk now and I'm seeing my art. Um, and even when I'm working on something, I can kind of see the bottom of the cocoa beans out of the, the end of the screen. And it's, yeah, it's just shifting my energy, I think. Yeah. Look at you, Sandra. You've already started. <laughs> you already started to take action, right? Mm -hmm. the, the Monday, the the whole yeah the whole day just for Sandra right to do whatever she wants to do whatever that f that fills your cup that generates creativity right I can see how the reminders you have is so effective right mm -hmm. what what are some yeah when you look at the, the the art what are some feelings you have more relaxed more grounded I think because that's a space that um, draws me in and brings me joy and um, just reminds me of that there's way more to life and way more to me than what I often am bringing forward in terms of my time commitment. And I asked about what, what does it feel like, right? Because we can always, when we look at the, 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 the images and what you created, knowing that, oh, I, I, I will feel more relaxed and grounded and joyful and good, right? So that would have us want to continue to, right? Move towards our whole self. Mm -hmm. yeah it's sort of a natural reinforcer isn't it when you're when your feelings when you do something and then you see your feelings shift yeah uh, then that kind of reinforces headed heading in that direction mm -hmm. I also painted my glasses for pride that's amazing um, Sandra I can't see wow. when I move them up but I've got these new markers that allow me to paint on my glasses clips and replace them and then I can um I can clean it off and do it for another occasion. I just sat down one morning before I started working on anything and decided I would um, paint the glasses. This is a way to ground myself in a little bit of art. So, And it's so meaningful. It's so meaningful, right? And it's, yeah, I, 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 was, I was looking at your glasses. I was going to ask you, where did you buy them? <laughs> you, you did it yourself. You painted. Wow. Yeah, yeah it was fun to do. So just another little example of creating 
even just even just by creating 10 or 15 minutes in the morning to do something that's not in my head really does seem to help me okay so i mean it's it sounds like it's working right and and let's continue let's continue to have those mondays right where we focus on yeah the the creativity that brings the you know the joy and the groundedness and feeling relaxed and feeling good right and we can check in uh next time to see how that's going i think that's you know how we talk about you know taking one small step or two small steps towards right your preferred self and you've taken many already sandra yeah i do i feel like i'm making good progress you are thank you 